Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to the Defense Post's report on March 20, 2024, Iraq is currently evaluating options to bolster its air defense capabilities by acquiring new anti-aircraft weapons, as confirmed by spokesperson Major General Yehia Rasul. While discussions with various nations are underway, specific details regarding potential vendors and allocated budgets remain undisclosed. This initiative is prompted by escalating regional threats and is in line with Iraq's recent acquisition of French radars. Major General Rasul indicated that these new anti-aircraft systems would be seamlessly integrated with the country's existing radar infrastructure spanning low, medium, and high ranges, thereby forming a more cohesive air defense network. As of 2023, the Iraqi Air Defense Command boasted an operational force of 5,000 personnel, organized into distinct units specializing in various air defense roles. Notably, one surface-to-air missile, SAM, battalion operates Russian Panzer S-1 systems, another battalion is equipped with American and slash TWQ-1 Avenger systems, and a third utilizes upgraded Soviet Igles systems. Additionally, the command includes an anti-aircraft artillery, ADA, battalion equipped with ZU-23-2 and S-60 anti-aircraft guns to address varying aerial threat levels with a combination of missile and artillery systems. Regarding equipment, the Iraqi Air Defense Command employs multiple systems tailored for specific defensive tasks against aerial targets. For instance, the n twq one Avenger and 9K338 Igles systems serve as point defense solutions, while the 96K6 Panzer S-1 units are deployed for short to medium-range air defense, leveraging missile and gun capabilities. Direct anti-aircraft artillery employs Soviet-era 23mm ZU-23-2 and 57mm S-60 towed guns. The push for enhanced air defenses was further articulated on July 27, 2022, by Iraqi Defense Minister Juma Anad, who announced the imminent arrival of radar systems from France and the United States. These include the Thale system from France and the TPS-77 radar system from Lockheed Martin in the US, although specific capabilities were not disclosed. These acquisitions are part of Iraq's strategy to bolster its detection and interception capabilities against aerial threats. The quest for modernized air defense systems is a response to the outdated state of Iraq's current air defense infrastructure, predominantly comprising systems from the 1960s and 70s. The objective of this modernization effort is to counter contemporary threats posed by drones, missiles, and artillery shells, particularly those launched by terrorist groups. Additionally, Iraq's parliament has allocated unspecified funding for these defense initiatives, with part of this effort involving the deployment of long-range radar systems in strategic locations within the country. According to Army Recognition's report on December 21, 2023, the U.S. Congress enacted the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, for the year 2024, which includes measures aimed at bolstering the air defense capabilities of Iraqi security forces and the Kurdish Peshmerga. The plan is expected to outline necessary provisions and training for the effective deployment of air defense systems by both Iraqi and Kurdish forces, with an anticipated implementation timeframe within 90 days of plan establishment. It is speculated that the air defense systems, whose specifics have not been disclosed, are unlikely to be as sophisticated as the Patriot surface-to-air missile systems. Instead, the focus is likely to be on equipment that can be rapidly deployed and is tailored to the specific threats encountered by forces in Iraq and the Kurdistan region, potentially including short-range anti-aircraft systems and portable missile defenses primarily aimed at neutralizing drone and rocket threats. Recent incidents highlight the urgency of these upgrades, with Iraq's airspace facing increased vulnerability from external threats, notably from neighboring Iran and Turkey. Notably, Iran's movement of Karar main battle tanks towards the border area near Iraq's Khuzestan province raises concerns about military readiness and potential implications for Iraqi sovereignty. Furthermore, a ballistic missile strike by Iran on January 16, 2024, in Iraq's Kurdistan region resulted in civilian casualties, further highlighting the pressing need for enhanced air defenses. The situation is further complicated by escalated drone attacks on U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria, attributed to rising regional tensions. Notably, the U.S. Department of Defense reported a significant increase in such incidents, with 23 attacks reported in two weeks, resulting in injuries among U.S. personnel. These attacks, intensified after the U.S. reiterated its support for Israel, posed challenges to Iraq's security and sovereignty, prompting calls for enhanced protective measures despite existing air defense systems. 
Additionally, Turkey's military operations against the PKK, designated a terrorist organization by multiple entities, have heightened tensions. Following Turkish soldiers' deaths, Ankara launched retaliatory strikes in January 2024 against PKK positions in northern Iraq to address perceived threats. These ongoing operations contribute to security challenges in Iraq's northern regions, further exacerbating the overall aerial threat landscape. Amid these regional complexities, the Iraqi government is contemplating reducing foreign military presence to prevent its territory from being embroiled in broader regional conflicts. That's all for now. See you later.